Hey, what's up everybody? Isaac Okuson here with Civil Engineering Academy. I wanted to jump on real quick and just briefly kind of give you my thoughts on why taking a review course is a good thing. I want to hit on a couple uh, points about my own journey and maybe give you some pointers on um, you know, what the benefits are of taking a review course. I'm a little bit under the weather. I think my kids are getting me sick. It's just that time of year, but it's all good stuff. Our whole house is a petri dish, I guess, but uh, we'll get over it. So my voice is a little different. But um, let's go ahead and talk about it. I wanted to start out with my own journey. Uh, my own journey to pass the PE exam was a long one, I'm sure like many of yours. Some people are able to pass it the first time, and that's great. I applaud you. Um, but my own journey took me to a couple different places. Uh, the first time I took the exam, I took it in Arizona, and I did that because I found out I could take it there after only two years of experience and there are some states that allow you to do that and so I went down there I took a very short review course with a local uh, young members chapter of the ASCE and um, when I got down there I took the exam I didn't do a ton of practice and when I started taking it I realized I was really unprepared and it was kind of a, a slap in the face so I left there with my tail between my legs and uh, got home and was like I need to really focus on this thing and really uh, knock this thing out of the park if I if if I'm serious about passing this um, so you know from that experience I learned that it was a huge waste of time to do that it was a huge waste of money I had to pay for a, a flight down there I had to pay for a hotel I also had to pay for the exam itself let alone all the review material that I had so it was just uh, it was just a waste of time and money, right? Um, and then fast forward, I took the exam again. I took a actual review course this time. I felt like I needed that, and took a review course. I went into the exam again, and I left that exam thinking about 50-50, like maybe I passed, maybe I didn't. I'm not sure. So um, after I left, I waited and waited for the results, as we all do. Finally got the results and found out that I missed the exam by one question I cannot I cannot believe that yeah, I was so frustrated I, it was it was insane so one question I missed um, kept me from passing the PE that time so I didn't you know I was disappointed but I didn't want to hang my head down I, I got back on the horse and started studying again re-registered for the very next exam um, and when I took the exam again I found more practice problems to do and just kept practicing tons of problems um, when I took it the uh, again uh, the third time, I left the exam just feeling like I knocked it out of the park. There wasn't a question that did not have an answer that I didn't feel comfortable about um, marking. And so when I left, I just felt really good about it. So what does that journey, what does my journey have to do with this? Well, um, I just wanted to highlight some points about taking a review course. A review course, there are some big benefits to doing it. One of them is that um, obviously that a review course is going to give you practice problems to do. Um, that's one of the keys to passing this exam is practicing a ton of problems and getting ex an exposure to all kinds of problems, a variety of them. That's really where your head should be, not necessarily on the theory stuff. Another one uh, that a course will give you is practice exams, and you should be taking these you know, seriously. If you can't solve them like a real exam timed, um, then you should be working them like homework or something, but still... Uh, I always think, uh, recommend that you should be taking two exams near the beginning, maybe a month into study, and two near the end of your studies, and make sure that at least two of those are timed ones like the real deal. So uh, a course will give you that. Another one that I think is a huge deal is that a course gives you structure. This is probably the biggest thing. Um, when we're left to our own devices, um, a lot of us procrastinate, right? I, I, I do that myself. So if you don't have someone or something to keep you in line and, and have structure we procrastinate and we wait and wait and wait and then finally you know all of a sudden it's a month before the exam and you're like oh crap I gotta get I gotta I gotta read this thing <laughs> who's gonna read that month nobody so um, you know one of the things that it's a huge benefit is that it gives you structure and most courses will give you structure with homework um, they also um, give you structure with exams and problems to do, right? And they map it out in a timeline, which is where the structure comes from. Another huge benefit of courses is that it gives you support, whether that's from your instructor that's probably giving you lectures. 
he's there to help you. Um, but you could also have a community that's there too. You're all in the same boat with the same goal, trying to finish this thing. So that's another thing. Um, and that support is, is probably a huge deal. And lastly, I think one of the biggest benefits of a course is that in the long run, a course will save you money. So just like my journey where I took the exam over and over a couple times, if I would have just taken a review course at the beginning, I think I would have been very, uh, I mean, just really far ahead in the game of trying to pass the PE exam. And so in the long run, it will save you money. I know it, most courses are pretty expensive up, up front, but in the long run, um, you know, what is it worth to you to pass the PE exam? You know it's going to help your career. You know it's going to give you more money in the long run because once you have your PE, you're more, much more marketable. So these things will, will definitely pay back, if you know what I mean. So those are definitely the benefits of taking a course. Uh, I think one of the beautiful things that I wanted to do is after I had taken the PE exam, I wanted to start a review course that I felt like was really from the ground up, someone in the trenches giving advice on what they thought uh, would be most applicable to you to help you pass the PE exam. So that's why I actually started the Ultimate Civil uh, PE Review Program. Uh, it's a complete course that gives you tons of practice problems, tons of exams to help you pass, as well as lectures and a, and a beautiful community of support, as well as support from me and, and other team members. So we definitely don't leave you hanging and we're there to answer any questions that you have about the PE. So that's a, a, a real big reason why I started my own review program. Now I just want to help others uh, achieve that same goal of getting their PE as well. So anyway, hopefully this helped you. It's just kind of my own take on my journey and why a review course is worth it. Uh, maybe this helps you, maybe it doesn't. You just want to go at it on your own, which is totally fine. But uh, I do think a review program is helpful and encourage you to go check out the Ultimate Civil PE Review course, which we have built for you. And we'd love to have you as part of the program. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.